Hey guys, so I wanna to talk today about what histamine intolerance is and how do you know if you have it? It's the most common question I get. How do I know if I have histamine intolerance? I think every post I do, I get at least four people asking that question and it's not that easy to type out. So I figured doing a video would be much easier. So histamine intolerance is when you eat a high histamine food or you have histamine built up in your body and it cannot be broken down properly. So then that gives you symptoms. So here's the best way to find out if you have a histamine intolerance and it costs no money. You don't have to buy any expensive tests. You can do this at home and it takes about a week to do. So you're going to think about the symptoms that you have. If you already have symptoms, what you're looking for is an increase in those current symptoms or you're looking for new symptoms to come up. So these are the most common histamine intolerance symptoms, but they're not the only ones. So some of them are headaches or migraines, um, congestion, runny nose, low blood pressure, any type of dermatitis like eczema, um, flushing, a lot of people talk about getting flushing, hives, you do not have to have hives to have this, but it's something that a lot of people do get with histamine intolerance vertigo, fatigue, racing heart when you're eating. So this is in my book, The Four Phase Histamine Reset Plan. I also have a histamine guide that you guys can download. It's in, if you're looking at my bio, it says Linktree, like dot, Dr. Becky Campbell, you click on that and then you go to histamine guide. And then it has literally this, and then it tells you some high histamine foods. So here's what you're gonna do you're going to start eating high histamine foods. So here's my yes, no, maybe list from my book. Um, and so you're gonna eat the foods that are on the no list because they're the highest in histamine. So foods like avocado, citrus fruits, but not all citrus fruits don't do this, fermented foods, or if you notice that you drink like wine or beer and you get a reaction to that, um, foods that are, have vinegar in them, so those are kind of the highest histamine foods, but again, in this guide, it tells you a whole lot, you know, like so many more foods than just that. Or if you have my book, do it like that. And I explain this in the book too. So everyone asks where you can get this. You can get it on Amazon right now because bookstores are closed, but when bookstores open back up, it's in Barnes and Noble, Target, Walmart, I think Costco, it's, it's kind of everywhere. So you should order it on Amazon though. And then, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna eat these high histamine foods, you're gonna see if your current symptoms increase or if you get any new symptoms, and then you're going to stop eating the foods and you're gonna to stick to more of the yes food list, basically just removing the foods that were high in histamine, and you're gonna see if your symptoms subside. So you should give yourself about a week to see if your symptoms subside. If you're testing and you notice within one day your symptoms are getting worse, don't keep going. You don't have to torture yourself. But the actual part where you're seeing if the symptoms subside, go about a week to see if you notice a, a change. So if you do notice a change, you have a histamine intolerance. So then you need this book and you need to go through the plan and I teach you how to um, put that histamine intolerance into remission. So I hope this helps. I get this question all the time. Please let me know if you guys have any other questions I can answer for you.